Hey guys, Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Today, how about the Artisan Cutlery Waistline? Hey guys, I picked up this waistline from Artisan Cutlery Knives, and you know what? It is the crazy quaking, isn't it? It is very, very radical looking. It's a big knife. You know, they don't make this in a small version yet. Hint, hint. It'd be nice. I think there's some guys that would probably like that. But it is strange. It is really strange. I mean, it's arches so far back. You know, it's not really flat. Uh, that's really crazy. In any case, very thin bl blade as far as, you know, height goes. It's a flipper. The blade just disappears into the, uh, into the handle, although you can see the back of it. So, hmm, but what are you going to do? That's probably the best they could do with this particular design. Looks like you've got a titanium right hand or left hand pocket clip. So you can go left and they're sacrificing some of the looks of the knife to accommodate lefties, which I don't know. I mean, I don't care because I'm a right-handed one. So as far as I'm concerned, they could lose the plate and just have it seamless and go right hand only. But that's not very kind to the left-handed people. So... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm good with that, I guess. It's a very open design. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. I guess you can use a screwdriver to open that baby up, right? And torques on this side. I don't think I took this apart, which is really weird. Uh, it's got ceramic bearings on the pivot, though. I know that. And it's about a 25% lockup. It's got hardened steel insert in here. And, well, let's check if there's an over-travel stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay, so it's got over-travel stop. It's centered. It flips really good. It really does. And, oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, the action on this is really good. It doesn't have a lot. I mean, it's not real heavy detent. So, eh, it's about a five on the detent scale. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's just easy. That is easy. And you know what? Even though for stylistic purposes, they didn't give you a whole lot of pass through here, did they? Right in here. But... It's not that difficult to disengage. So, that's not really a big problem. I'm pretty easy on knives. I guess I don't get ultra picky. Um, and you see a design you like and you kind of go, yeah, that's really just ultra cool, isn't it? I mean, this is a bad boy. It's, I mean, there's nothing, nothing all that utilitarian about this knife. Oh, it's sharp too. I think this is S35VN. Yeah, this one is. I think you can get these in M390 now. How badass is that? Okay. You think piercing might be one, uh, you know, one thing it could do? I think. Yeah, I think. I mean, kind of like the whole, the whole point of this. Point of this, literally, is the piercing. Oh, how much? Let's see what this blade stock is. You think that four, four millimeter... Close to it, I don't know, 2.8, that's a lot of blades. I mean, that's a lot of thick blade stock there. I think they could have started, it's four millimeters, yeah, 0.157. Yeah, that's a lot of blade stock there to get down to a really fine edge that quick in that height, right? Maybe could have started with a thinner blade stock, but however, there's your, your blade stop. Boom, that looks good. Lock up, jimping on the flipper tab, yes. Uh, fit and finish seems really good. 
action speaks louder than words, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I like that. And very minimalist on the hardware here. Very open design. Now, could you reach back through and touch that blade? Nah. Nah, not even close. So you got, nah, you don't have any problems there. Interesting. You know, this comes in different colors. Hold on, let me get my paperwork. White Mountain Knives. So the S35VN one's like 180 something, seven bucks, something like that. So if you get that, you can get this in green or blue or purple or regular titanium or I don't know if you can get it in black. I'll give you the link. You can go check it out. Um, 180 something minus 10% because, you know, White Mountain Knives, LTK is your discount code for 10% off. So I'd give you almost 20 bucks off. So, well, you'd probably be in the high 160s, maybe 170. And then, if you decided to go with, and this is the blue color, by the way, M390, that's like 220 something, 224. I don't know what it is. But, you know, and so it'd be right at 200 with the M390 version. And there's your specs. Ceramic bearings, uh, 3.7 ounces overall. Big knife, four in, like freaking nine inches. It's got to be nine inches. Yeah, it's nine inches overall. Crazy. I didn't even measure that. Oh, by the way, inspiration was, you think? I mean, check this out. <laughs> I saw, you know, I was talking to Russell. He goes, well, so, yeah, he based his design off the Canton Tower. It's like, no kidding. No kidding. I mean, that's exactly. I guess the Chinese name for this somehow loosely approximates the term of waistline or pinched waist or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of supposed to be that. In any case, just thought you'd like to know. A little background there. Um, four inch blade. Ouch, there's a, ooh, a little over 100 millimeters right there, 101, 102. And then overall, oh baby, nine inches, yep. Mm, close to 23 millimeters, or 23 centimeters. Wow, okay. Oh, let's see how fat this thing is. Did I do this? I didn't do this. 13.5.53. Where are you, fancy? You even dare to show up? This is a nine inch, nine inch slender. Oh yeah, probably looks bigger in this aspect ratio or the para two does. Para two just looks all kinds of tall, thick, big compared to this. This is very slender in the hand. It really is. Wow, man, the action on this is really good. I mean, that's. That's flipper toy status right there. Look at that. Just follows you around, drops in. Wow. Watch it. Wow. Click. Centered. No lock rock, no blade play on this. Yeah. Be easy to take apart and put back together. You only got that and that. And you're done. And you're done. Oh. By the way, you can get these. I, I happen to get, I got this crazy thing uh, from White Mountain. Because I was just kind of interested in the carbon fiber version. And this little thing here is like, ah, crap. I think it's like 62 bucks. I, I may have printed this out. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So like... Uh, 64 bucks. Oh, it's out of stock right now. But I mean, 64 bucks, you can get it. It comes in and out of stock. but Right? And it, it's D2 steel. So it's got ceramic bearings and all that. 3.7 ounces. So I just thought this was really cool. Because 64 minus 10%. I mean, this would be in the $50 range. And you can go right hand and left hand. Kind of a deep carry pocket clip. So, how cool is that? Yeah, and 
The pass-through is real obvious on this right here because it's a liner lock. So, and you got to shake that one down. But that is interesting, isn't it? But that comes in a box like this. Where this one comes in that metal box inside the big black box and the zipper pouch and all that, the microfiber cloth and whatever, you know, that kind of thing, paperwork. But in any case, yeah, interesting. Oh, we didn't get our, did we not get our scale out here? Grams, 106. I mean, for a nine inch, I mean, it's a true nine inch knife. 3.7 ounces, so it weighs the same as the paramilitary two. But it's solid titanium, four millimeter thick S35VN knife that's nine inches long. You think you got some grip on this handle? This handle is, this handle might be a problem for some people actually. Um, because it's almost too grippy. So you might not like this because it, it really, it does grab you. So, I, you know, as far as ergos go, it's okay. Although, you know, you got to just understand that it doesn't fill your hand up as much as a taller scale does. You know, this one is so thin It's only 0.68 inches, 17, and then you come out here, so 0.65, you know, as you drag back here, 0.73, but yeah, it's very, very slender, so it's kind of like your hands are wrapping around and wrapping around, but it does have 0.53 out here, so it's, you know, you can get a hold of it. Reverse grip, uh, really almost more comfortable, to tell you the truth. But there's a lot of room on that handle. How big is that damn handle? If you got big hands and you like this quaking style, well, it's not quite five inches. That's weird. It, it seems huge. I mean, look how much extra room I've got back here. Wow. In any case... It does have a choil up front, so sharpening shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. The waistline. Get wasted. Waistline in titanium. Waistline in carbon fiber. Uh, waistline, I believe, in G10, too. Take a look online. I know they got the carbon fiber and the titanium. I, I, um, you know, I'm not sure about the G10. I'm not sure about the G10. I might be thinking about another knife. Um, yeah, I might be thinking about the shark in G10. So take a look, uh, because no, I, I can't remember off the top of my head now. It's been a while since I looked for the G10 model. In any case, you know, this is going to be under $60. And this is, you know, well under 200 so, yeah, they, they're, they're putting out the hits all right. Hey, thanks for hanging around. Flanagan's around here somewhere. Slide into the side. We're going to let you go. The waistline. Right or left hand, tip up, slender, nine inches long. Yeah, it would be nice if they made a smaller model of this, and they might. I don't know. I kept thinking I heard something about that, but don't quote me on that. Carbon fiber. Look for a G10 model. I don't remember seeing one. I think I was thinking about the shark. In any case, thank you so much for joining me. Check out White Mountain on that. Get you a good deal. Because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.